Hello. Uh, today uh, I will be talking about uh, conflicts in Abkhazia, South Ossetia, Karabakh, and Transnistria. These are the regions uh, it's controlled by uh, Russia, uh, and this these areas used to be part of uh, Soviet Union. First, I would like to talk about uh, uh, the regions in uh, Georgia. As you know, in 1991, Georgia gained its independence from Russia. And during this uh, event, there was a civil war in uh, Georgia. And uh, especially in Abkhazia and South Ossetia, there were several wars. Uh, the war, uh, when we look at these territories, uh, Russia helped these two territories, especially South Ossetia and Abkhazia, and with the help of Russia, uh, unfortunately, uh, Georgia uh, lost these territories. So, in order to Georgians, they cannot enter those territories and it's dangerous for Georgians. There is, uh, uh, especially in South Ossetia, there is a, a huge fence and uh, a lot of uh, Ossetians and Abkhazians, they cannot go to uh, Georgia and this really affects this territory. So another map, as you can see during the Civil War, uh, uh, Georgians, uh, they used to be, who used to live in Abkhazia, 50% of the population was Georgians. But after the war, uh, unfortunately, uh, many Georgians, they left Abkhazia and they came or they start living in Georgia, other cities of Georgia. So, uh, and then during the war, uh, 5,000 people died, 400 went missing, and 250,000 ethnic Georgians were expelled from Abkhazia. And uh, according to International Crisis Group in 2016, 2006, more than 200,000 Georgians remained displaced in Georgia proper. So... Uh, when we talk about the fence in South Ossetia, for example, there are many areas. It says uh, you cannot enter this territory. Dangerous, especially uh, for U.S. citizens. Uh, you cannot uh, travel there. It's very, very dangerous. Not only for U.S. citizens, but also for other international people or even Georgians, it's dangerous to go South Ossetia, Abkhazia. And when you look at this map, you can see, uh, when you see, see that this is the border, uh, Abkhazia border, as you can see. So for Georgians, it's very dangerous to go there again, even though they might have families, uh, relatives, are living there, but unfortunately, it's dangerous. These areas. This uh, map shows the Caucasus region, and uh, it is very uh, it's very important to know to understand Caucasus region because Caucasus region is the center of the conflict. We mentioned about Nagorno area. Uh, in Azerbaijan and then in Georgia we have three areas South Ossetia, Abkhazia and there's another tiny republic uh, Ajaria which is in Batum region so these are the three republics in uh, conflict uh, in Georgia so this fence as, as you can see uh, it is very uh, dramatic. Uh, you can imagine uh, this is your house. The land, maybe you have another house, 
other side of the fence and uh, because of the uh, uh, this fence you cannot go to the other side and you lose your land the other side it's very dramatic and the people who are living other side of the fence they cannot go to this side this is very very dramatic so uh, as you can see uh, as i mentioned before uh, i mentioned before the red areas or the dark pink areas are the do not travel as you can see it's really dangerous to travel to Abkhazia and South Ossetia so and another republic is Ajaria which is in Batum the is the capital when you look at Georgia it's 3 million population uh, it is not a big country uh, but uh, there are many different ethnic groups Another picture shows that, uh, for you to understand better, uh, the state borders, if you are in Georgian side, it's also written in uh, English, so you can understand. And if you are in the uh, other side, South Ossetia or Abkhazia, nothing is written in uh, uh, English. It's all, everything is Russian or ethnic language groups. So um, 